Hare Krishna. Did you go to the airport last night? Um, yes. You dropped them? What yes. time did you come by? Around 11.30. Oh my God. You us into here now? Ah, uh, yes. Ma'am. You came last night? Hmm? I came last night. Did you pick him up when you were there? Ah, uh, you came. Yeah, I think he came with him. Vibhavari shesha loka provesha Nidra chari yuta jiva Bolo hari hari mokhanda morari Rama Krishna Haya Griva Nashimha Vamana Srimadudana Rajendra Nandana Shama Tanna gatanna kaita bashatanna jaya jasarati rama Yashoda do la la go in the go pala Rinda pana purantara Gopi priya janna radhika ramana Bhuvana sundara bhora Ravana thakura makana thakura Gopi jana vashtrahari Rajera Rakala Gopa Vindapalo Chitta Hari Bam Chitta Hari Yogendra Bandhana Srinandana Rajajana Bhaya Hari Nabinani Raja Rupa Mano Hara Mohana Bam Sibi Hari Yashoda Nantana Kamsani Shudana Nikonjara Savila Adamba Kanana Rasa Parayana Vrindavi Pinani Vati Ananda Vardhana Premani Ketana Pulashara Yojaka Kana O 
ಭಂಗನಾಥ ನಚಿತ ವಿನೋದನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಣ ಘನ ಧಾಮ ಯಮುನ ಜೀವನ ಖಿಲಿ ಪರಾಯನ ಮಾನಸ ಚಂದ್ರ ಚಕೋರ ನಮ ಶುರ ಓ ಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ಆಕೋ ಬಚ ನಮ ನಮೋ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜಾನ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಗಿರಿ ಬರಜ ಗೋಪಿ ಜಾನ ಬಾಲ ಬಾಗಿರಿ ಬರಜ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಯಾಮುನ ಕೀರ ಯಾಮುನ ಕೀರ ಮನ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ರಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನಾರಾಮ ದೈವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಜಯ ಮುಧೇರಯ ನಿಸ್ತಪ್ರಯೇಶು ಬಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಸ್ತಿಕಿ ವಿರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತ್ರೀ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಕಾಶಿ ಪೂಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಇಮೋರ್ಟು ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ವ್ ಇಶ್ರೂಮ ನಿರ್ಬಂಧ 
Tapa Paramam Astita Vidatsvan Antaram Vidatsvan Antaram Yuktam Swayam Tri Bhavaneshwara Itesa Shruma Nirbandam Tapa Paramam Astita Vidatsvanantaram Yuktam Swayam Tri Bhuvaneshwari It is a Shruma Nirbandham Tapa Paramamastita Vidatsvanantaram Yuktam Swayam Tri Bhuvaneshwara Iti Sushruma Nirbandham Tapa Paramamastitaha Vidatsvanantaram Yuktam Swayam Tri Bhuvaneshwara It is in this way, Sushruma, we have heard Nirbandham, strong determination, Tapa, austerity, Paramam, very severe. Astita is situated in Vidatsva. Please take steps. Anantaram as soon as possible. Yuktam. Be befitting 
Swayam yourself, Sri Bhuvana Ishwara, O Master of the Three Worlds. Translation, O Lord, we have heard from reliable sources that in order to obtain your post, Haranyi Kashipu is now engaged in severe austerity. You are the master of the three worlds. Please, without delay, take whatever steps you deem appropriate. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. In the material world, a servant is provided for by the master, but is always planning how to capture the master's pose. There have been many inst instances of this in history, especially in India during the Mohammedan rule. Many servants by plans and devices took over the posts of their masters. It is learned from Chaitanya literature that one big zamindar, Subodhi Rai, kept a Mohammedan boy as a servant. Of course, he treated the boy as his own child and sometimes when the boy would steal something, the master would chastise him by striking him with a cane. There was a mark on the boy's back from this chastisement. Later, after the boy had by crooked means become Hussein Shah, Nawab of Bengal, one day his wife saw the mark on his back and inquired about it. The Nawab replied that in his childhood he had been a servant of Subhuti Rai who had punished him because of some mischievous activities. Upon hearing this, the Nawab's wife immediately became agitated and requested her husband to kill Subhuti Rai. Nawab Hussain Shah, of course, was very grateful to Subhuti Rai and therefore refused to kill him. But when his wife requested him to turn Subhuti Rai into a Mohammedan, the Nawab agreed. Taking some water from his water pot, he sprinkled it upon Subhuti Rai and declared that Subhuti Rai has now become a Mohammedan. The point is that this Nawab had been an ordinary menial servant of Subhuti Rai, but was somehow or other able to occupy the supreme post of Nawab of Bengal. This is the material world. Everyone is trying to become master through various devices, although everyone is servant of his senses. Following this system, a living entity, although servant of its senses, tries to become master of the whole, un of the whole universe. Haranyakashipu was a typical example of this. And Brahma was informed by the demigods of, of his intention. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shiva. Hmm? Tapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Ham Shri Garo Shri Yatapada Kamalam Shri Garo Vaishnavam Shka Sri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raganathan Vitam Tam Sajevam
Tadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakanitam Sja He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kantam Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishapanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadar Har Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare All right so we're hearing the demigods how they're informing Lord Brahma about the intentions about the plan of Haranyakashipu. Haranyakashipu was doing his austerity and his purpose in doing the austerity was to get Brahma's position. He wants to get the post of Brahma, so he was doing tapasya. So Prabhupada talks how in the material world everyone wants to be the master. We don't like to be the servant. We think to be the servant that's low position. We think to be the master that's the, the best thing. But Prabhupada describes this story from the Chaitanya Charitamrita about this one man named Subudi Rai. Subudi Rai was a rich man and he had some Mohammedan boys serving him in his house. So one of these boys did something wrong, so Subhudi Rai hit him with the cane. And when, when you're hit with the cane it leaves a mark on the body. Just like even today they have caning. Here in Malaysia they cane people. In Singapore also they will cane people for different crimes things like drug addiction and things, they'll beat them. And if they're beaten then the marks are there on the body. So this boy was a servant in the home of Subhudi Rai. But he grew up and he became very powerful, he got a big position. In the beginning he was a servant but by some way he, he became a big man. He became the Nawab of Bengal. It means like the ruler of Bengal. He became so powerful and, and he was married, he had a wife and the wife saw the mark on his body and the wife complained, you have to do something. So he said, okay. He didn't want to kill him but he said, I can make him a Muslim. And in those days, time of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means 500 years ago, it was very easy to make someone a Muslim. You, and so he just took some water and he threw it on the person and he said, now you're a Muslim. And if you would do things like eat food made by a Muslim, you would become a Muslim. If you drank water, from the same pot as a Muslim, you'd be a Muslim. So, 
So this Subhuti Rai had to become, he was told you're a Muslim. So he didn't want to be a Muslim, he was a devotee and he went to the brahmanas and he asked the brahmanas, what can I do? I'm, I, they made me into a Muslim, they said I'm a Muslim now. The brahmana said the only thing you can do is you have to drink boiling ghee. Have you ever tried it? No, boiling ghee, could you imagine? You'll die. It means it was, it was a weight, it was a death. You, but they said that is the only atonement, the only way you can save yourself. You should drink boiling ghee. So Subhuti Rai thought, why? Well, I don't want to do that, you know. So th then it happened that he met Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the situation. He told Lord Chaitanya his problem. Lord Chaitanya said, you don't have to drink boiling ghee. All you have to do, chant the holy name and serve the Vaishnavas. Service to the Vaishnavas and chanting the holy name. These two things are very powerful. So, Subhuti Rai, he'd gone to Vrindavan and he was living in Vrindavan. Now Bengali people like to go to Vrindavan, but often when they go to Vrindavan they will get sick. Just like us also, right? You go there you can get sick easily. Many things happen in Vrindavan, you know. They have that t-shirt, you know that t-shirt, I lost my heart in Vrindavan. You don't only lose your heart, you lose your shoes, <laughs> you lose your spectacles, <laughs> the monkeys will take everything from you, you know, many things you can lose in Vrindavan. So, so Bodhi Rai was staying in Vrindavan and the Bengali people were coming. Bengali, in Bengal they eat rice, they grow rice and they like to eat rice and they can eat a lot of rice, you know. But in Vrindavan, Vrindavan is in central India and it's, it's a dry place. Bengal is very humid. It's very wet, a lot of rain and it's humid, so they grow rice there. But Vrindavan, Delhi, it's very dry. They eat, they grow wheat there. They don't grow rice, they grow wheat. They grow atta, atta, wheat. And they eat chapati, just like in China. Bai fang chimian. Nan fang chi fan. Right? Hmm. Should she be young, eh? Hmm? Right? Yeah. So, Bengali people, they eat fun, they eat rice. But in Vrindavan, they don't have rice here, they have only chap chapati. They eat the chapati. So they're not, especially they have, they have a thing called braj roti. Braj roti. If you ever go to Vrindavan, you can do madukari. You know madukari? Madukari is where you go and beg. You beg from the people and you only eat what the people give you. You know? You don't go to restaurant, you don't eat the feast, you only go to the Brajbasi people and you say Hare Krishna and you know put your hands up and they'll give you maybe, they'll give you Braj Roti maybe. You can get the Braj Roti, Braj Roti is made from the wheat that grows there. But you eat it, well you can get sick very easy, <laughs> very hard, very heaty, very easy to get sick. So Subhuti Rai, 
he wanted to serve the Vaishnavas, so he decided what he would do. He, w he went in the forest and he collected the dry wood and he brought all the dry wood and he sold it in the market. You know, people use wood to cook on. So he would go in the forest and he would just pick up wood here everywhere and he'd bring it back and to the to the to the market and he could sell the, the dry wood. And with the money he got for the dry wood, he would buy yogurt and some rice and he would serve the Bengali people when they came. He would give the Bengali people rice and yogurt because that would cool their stomach. Rice and yogurt very cooling. But if you eat the braj roti, whoa, you get so hot, you know, your body becomes very hot. And so he would cool them down, he would give them rice and yogurt. So this way he was serving the Vaishnavas. He would do, and he did this for a long time. He would go in the forest, collect the wood, bring the wood back and sell it, get some money, buy yogurt and buy rice and serve it to the Bengali Vaishnavas. So this was his service and he became a great devotee because he was doing this, he was serving the Vaishnavas and he was chanting the holy name. So these two things are very powerful, you see. We, we say, Mahatsevam Dwara Mahur Vimuktes. By serving the devotees, it opens the doors to liberation. And Tamo Dwaram Yoshitam Sangi Sangam. If you just serve our own senses, if we just serve our own material desires, that will take us to hell. We won't get any good destination. So material world, everyone wants to be the master. Another example was when Prabhupada was in Japan, he went to Dainapan, he went to see about printing. Prabhupada wanted to print Back to Godhead magazine and Krishna book. And he wanted to print many copies, thousands of copies, you know. Nowadays, back, back to Godhead magazine, they don't print many copies because they only distribute it to the devotees. But in Prabhupada's time, the Back to Godhead was for distributing to everybody and it was articles introducing Lord Chaitanya and introducing the Maha Mantra and Krishna Consciousness movement to people. So uh, Prabhupada went to see the printers to talk to them about the price and the arrangement for the printing. And so when he came, he had a meeting and all the directors of the company was there. He, had to, he sat at the table a round table with all the directors of the company and each of the members, each of the directors, they came and gave their name card to Prabhupada. The, the head of the, the managing director, his card was on the top and the other directors, you know, their cards were lower and the youngest director, his card was on the bottom like that. And so Prabhupada talked to them about printing the books and then after some time, you know, they came to the agreement and all the directors went away except for the one man who was the youngest, huh? the youngest director, Zwei Nien Chingdaran. He was still there with, the, with Prabhupada. So Prabhupada asked him, what is your goal in life? So the man saw the pile of the name cards on Prabhupada's, on the table there in front of Prabhupada. He took his card out from the bottom and he put his card on the top. He said, this is my goal in life. 
to get to the top. Right? That is the material world. Everyone, they want to get to the top. They want to be the top man. If you are playing sports, you want to be the, the best, right? If you are a runner, you want to run the fastest. If you are a footballer, you want to score the goals. If you are the politician, you want to win the election. You want to be the best. Material world. Everyone wants to be. Can, but no, not, it's, of course it cannot happen. Everyone gets the results of their previous work according to their activities. If everyone is getting, you get some happiness and you get some distress. If somebody is getting success, it's due to something they did in the past. And if somebody is getting trouble, a lot of pain and misery, it's because of something we did in the past. Jai Jagannath Pavadi Subhadra. So we get the reactions of our work. But everyone has the desire to want to control. So that is the demonic nature. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes two natures, divine nature and demoniac nature. And the demoniac nature, the asura bhav, the asura is thinking, Ishwaraham, I am the controller. Ahambogi, I am the enjoyer. This is the demon nature. Haranyakashipu, he wants to be the controller. He doesn't want to be controlled. But we're all controlled. How? We're controlled by the modes of nature, the material nature. We're all controlled like that. People are foolish. They think, I am free. Just like some people may say, Oh, you Hare Krishna people, you cannot eat meat, you cannot eat fish or egg, you cannot smoke or drink, you cannot do all the… Th I do all of these things. I'm free, I can do all of these things. Yes, but they're not free. They're doing these things under the influence of the material nature. Everyone is controlled. But out of ignorance, they think, I am free. No, you're not free, you're controlled. You are controlled just like somebody said, I'm free, I can smoke. Okay, so stop smoking. If you're free, then give up the smoking. You cannot do it. They're addicted to it. We ask people, don't drink tea or coffee. They cannot do it. They cannot give up their cup of tea. They're not free, we are controlled. What is controlling us? The material nature. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Prakrite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasha. Meaning? Uh, who knows the meaning? You know, in Russian? What? 
What chapter? Seventh chapter. What text? Bhagavad Gita. Prakriti Kriyamanan. Can speak Russian. You know the meaning in Russian? You can say in Russian. Let us hear. The Russian devotees are trained. You see? He's from Vladivostok. They have a nice temple there. They have a program there. They teach Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhav. They study the scriptures. Yeah, the bewildered spirit soul, bewildered spirit soul thinks he is the doer, but everything is actually done by the material nature. The material nature means the prakriti. The material nature means the three modes, goodness, passion and ignorance. We're thinking, I did it, I did it. Right? At one time the, the devotees did a, they did a big program in Delhi. They put on a big festival and thousands of people came and it was very successful. Many people came and people loved the program and everybody was saying good things about Krishna consciousness. So after the, after the program was all over, they met. And the devotees were saying to Prabhupada, we did it, we did it Prabhupada, it was really a success. And Prabhupada looked at them and said, we didn't do anything, Krishna did it. Krishna did it. We have the choice either to surrender to Krishna or surrender to Maya. When we surrender to Maya, then we are under the material nature, the prakriti, the goodness, the passion and the ignorance. And when we surrender to Krishna, we are under Krishna's divine energy. Mahatmanas to mampata daivim prakritim ashrita, the daivi prakriti, those great souls are under the protection of my divine energy. They are fully engaged in Krishna consciousness. So the Mahatmas, they're devotees, they're fully engaged, they surrender to Krishna. They're under the control of Krishna. Everyone is controlled, you see. Krishna is a controller. All others are controlled. So we are controlled by the material nature. If we don't surrender to Krishna, then we are under the control of the material nature. Usually passion and ignorance controlling us. And this is a, the situation in the material world. Everyone is fighting with each other. Just like dogs. If you have a, some dogs, in the night you can hear the dogs here. You know, one dog barks, the other dogs will all bark. Why are you coming here? You go to somebody's place, a dog will bark. Why are you coming here? I am here, you go away. Like that, this, the barking dogs. Prabhupada compared like that, he said, sometimes you come to custom officer, the immigration, they will, why you come here? Why you coming here? <laughs> what do you want coming here? Like that. Prabhupada said, like barking dogs. The, the dogs bark when the person comes. And so the same way people are barking at each other, I am here, I am controlling, I am in charge. No, we're not in charge of anything. We're all controlled by the material nature. 
So we have to take shelter of Krishna. Don't take shelter of the material nature, take shelter of Lord Krishna. Surrender to Krishna and get free from all the material nature. Right? We say, Daivihi Esha Gunamaye Mama Maya Duratiya. Mam Eva Ye Prapajante My Amitam Tarantite. This material nature is very difficult to overcome. It's Krishna, Krishna is then Mama Maya, My Maya. Very difficult to overcome. But if we surrender to Krishna, we can easily cross over the material nature. The material nature is like a big ocean, but when we surrender to Krishna, it becomes just like a tiny drop of water in the footprint of a calf. You don't need a boat to cross over anymore. So Harani Kashipu, his intentions are known by the demigods. They know he wants to become Brahma, he wants to get Brahma's position. So they're worried what to do. So they're telling Lord Brahma, you know, you better watch out. He's, he wants to get your position. Okay, any question? Yes, Prabhu. There is, there is three stages of the chanting. Uh, Aparatta, Namas, Namahasana, Shukana, Namahasana, Shukana. Does it correspond to? Guna, Guna. Fashion in the exam. No. No. It doesn't. I've never heard anybody say it corresponds to the Gunas. Shuddhanam, the pure name, that is completely transcendental. That is the perfect stage. And the Namabhas, the intermediate stage, it said that if you chant in Namabhas, you're liberated. You're on the liberated platform. Haridas Thakur said, anybody who chants even at the stage of Namabhas is liberated. Of course, the one brahmana, one smarter brahmana did not agree and they had a disagreement about it and that brahmana ended up, he got leprosy and all of his skin began to melt because of his offence against Haridas Thakur. So Haridas Thakur was saying, if you chant a namabhas, that is liberated platform. Nam Aparad, well, Nam Aparad, offensive chanting. You're not going to get the result of the chanting. You're not going to get Krishna praying. You chant with offenses. But even offensive chanting is better than not chanting. And somebody may chant with offense, it's better than not chanting. Because it, even he's chanting with offense, somebody may instruct him and guide him and tell him how he can improve his chanting to come to a higher stage. But I've never heard them these three stages compared to the modes of nature. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that when uh, there is a good, there is a resource of the activity, maybe possible. How do we distinguish that? It is because of us surrounding to Krishna or is Maya controlling us further? How do you distinguish that? How do we? Sorry? How do we? How do you distinguish 
that it is because of Krishna's protection or it's because Maya is controlling us for them. How do we distinguish what was controlled by Krishna and what was done by Maya? Yeah, it's because there's something positive happens. It may be because Krishna's Krishna made mercy or it may be because Maya is so well, we know when we're taking shelter of Krishna because we will follow the instructions of sadhu and shastra and guru. So that will bring it, that's how we take shelter of Krishna. We should be able to distinguish clearly what is taking shelter of Krishna and what is surrendering to Maya. Surrendering to Maya is acting independently and whimsically, not following the regulated principles like hearing and chanting. In the, in the nectar of instruction, Rupa Goswami describes the six items which cause Fall cause us to, you know, to go down in our devotional service, right? Atyahara, prayashas, chaprajapa, niyamagraha, jana sangas, saloyam, chashatir, bhakti, vinashati. That we, our devotional progress goes down when we engage in overeating are over collecting, collecting more than required, right? We, we like to accumulate things, we like to have more, we want more money especially, you know, collect more money and have more shoes and have more clothes and have jewellery and then one car is not enough, I should have another car two cars, you know, and one mobile phone, no, I have to mo more than one phone, yeah. So we collect, we have all these things and it keeps, it stops our progress in Krishna consciousness. Ajahar, over, like, over endeavouring for mundane things difficult to achieve. Just like this one devotee I know, she's a doctor and she wants to become a specialist where they have the exam and they have to pass, they have to, they have to take the exam and it costs a lot of money. The exam costs a lot of money and many people take the exams and even they come from India and they're better students than in Malaysia, you know. <laughs> Because in India it's very competitive, so you know a very difficult exam. You know to do what and to pass that exam to get to become a spe very difficult. You take the exam many times, and same with law. You want to be a lawyer. This one devotee taking the law exam many times, and so many people, so much money every time big money, thousands and thousands they have to spend for the exam and very difficult to pass. You know, so over endeavouring for mundane things, difficult to achieve, you know. People do the, these things, you know, they will endeavour, like they spend their whole life trying to get these things. So uh, then prajalpa, a lot of talking, oh, talking all the time, <laughs> mobile phone, talking with this person and that person and meet together and talking, nothing about Krishna but so much to say. So prajalpa, associating with non-devotees, people not interested in Krishna consciousness, all of these things, that then is when you're surrendering to Maya. 
So we may, we may say, well, I have to work, I have a job, I have to work with people or not. All right, you may have to do it, but don't enjoy it, you know. We should regret that we have to do these things. We should feel sorry that we are caught up in all of these activities. And we should be happy to get away from that kind of association. We shouldn't, you know, take pleasure in all of these things. You may have to do it. You should think, this is my karma. Yes, this is my karma. Put me into this situation. So we have to be careful. We have to hold on to Krishna at every opportunity should always be thinking, when, when am I going to get time to chant? When am I going to be able to read Srimad Bhagavatam or to hear a kirtan or a lecture like that? So we, we can understand if we've surrendered to Krishna, Interesting. How do we know? Again, something similar to her question, isn't it? That two devotees, similar. So how do we know one devotee wants to serve Krishna or he wants to just want their own way, they want their own thing, they're doing their own thing, isn't it? Oh, the name is we are the we are the, in the devotee in our uh, our in all all is devotee and because the, the other one devotee want to be the of the other devotee because because maybe the devotee is not the leader they want to be the uh, of the leader seat so they want what leader leader because uh, you see some devotee they all they always think people also this. Or oh, they want to be the leader? Yeah, they want to be the leader. They want to put the leader down and he become the leader. Oh. Because this happened so many things happened. Yeah, right. So how, and if the leader have a good Christian consciousness, how to, how to think or how to work if the, this happened? Yeah. Well, we have to have the consciousness that if we're the leader, it doesn't mean we're the controller, it means we're the servant leader. We have to have the mood of service that I'm… somebody's a leader as a servant. They're showing us the example of how to serve Krishna. And somebody wants to be the leader, you know, another person they think, why she should be the leader, I should be the leader. So that mentality, that thinking, that is very bad to think like. But what we should think is that in the future I can become the leader. Now she is the leader but she won't be the leader forever. And after some time I can also become the leader. I and the leader can also t tell the younger devotees that now I am the leader, but in the future you have to become the leader, right? We have to tell, 
I'm, I want you to see how to be a leader. And you can see my mistakes. You can see what I'm doing, if I'm doing right or wrong. You can see from me. So you can learn yourself by my example. And in the future, you will become the leader. And then you will know that it's not an easy job to be the leader. To be the leader, very difficult. So many people may always complain, Oh, why she's the leader? I don't like her. I don't like what she said. But, oh, she's the leader. You have to surrender. In the future, you can become the leader. You will get a chance in the future. And then you will know the problems and how difficult it is. So, try, be encourage the devotees, cooperate together, help each other. Right? Harmony. Work together. And in the future, Krishna will arrange. You will get your chance. You will also become the leader. And then you will know all the problems. And sometimes they say, you want to be the leader? Why don't you go make another temple? <laughs> right? You know? And somebody is the leader here. You want to be the leader? You can go to the other temple and become the leader there. And we need leaders. We need people to be leaders. Sometimes you, nobody wants to be the leader. They will say, no, 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 I don't want to be, no, I don't want to, many times. But if you, you want to be the leader, very good. We want leaders. You can become the leader. We need many leaders. Go preach. So you have to encourage people like that. It's good. They have a desire, they want to be the leader. Very nice. You can go another temple, become the leader. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. Prabhu had a question? Did you have a question? Is there such a thing as people uh, endeavoring in wanting to understand Krishna by reading the books, reading the Mahabharata, and the whole range of books that it's not like urgency and over and over in wanting to understand Krishna? Because sometimes one can be so absorbed that the outside world doesn't exist. Only and everything wanting to understand things occupies the mind. And also, together with that, sometimes we eat other devotees and say, Oh, it's like this. And nothing like this. Oh, it's like that. And that difference of meat, meat, it's like exactly how you have not really. If your intention is to understand the, the philosophy and you're applying yourself to read the books, to understand the, the teachings, there's no over endeavor. Of course, we do have to endeavor to understand these things. We do have to read the books, it takes some endeavor, but, but over endeavor, no, we're endeavoring for the service of Krishna. So that's good. Over endeavoring is for, of, of, of course the, 
we say over endeavoring for mundane things, difficult to achieve, but over endeavoring for something transcendental, that's not, oh, you cannot over endeavor. The more we endeavor for the transcendental, then the, 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 the it's very good. And we have to make some effort to get love of Krishna. We want to get Krishna Prem, you have to endeavor for it, you have to try for it. You want to get the pure devotion, we have to make some efforts. And the more effort we make, the more Krishna rewards, the more Krishna is pleased. Krishna says, as you surrender to me, I reward you accordingly. So the more we surrender, the more we endeavor, the more Krishna is pleased. You cannot over endeavor for something transcendental. You can over endeavor for mundane things but not for transcendence, okay? Okay, Hare Krishna, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai.